Rice is the most popular grain that people love to eat in the world. If we divide rice up to the location, we can divide into two groups. The first group is highland rice. It's the rice that you grow on a hill on the mountain where you don't have a lot of water. But the second group of rice we call lowland rice. This group you grow in the low area. You have a lot, you need a lot of water. You need puddle of water in the rice field. Most of the rice we eat in the market now is lowland rice because it's you can grow a lot and easier to work on it. We also divide rice into two groups depend on how much sunlight do they need them. The first group is a group that need more sunlight. This group you can grow every year, any time of the year. They, as long as you have water for them, they grow well. And the second group is a group that need less sunlight when they were pregnant. This group mainly it will be uh, the group that we grow in rainy season. It's the majority of rice that we eat in the market. It's from this group. Normally in October there will be very crowded sky at that time so they will produce more. If more sunlight they will not produce enough so this group is easy to grow in rainy season. Even the, in the rainy season, less sunlight. But if you grow close to the electrical light that have the light in the night time all night, they may not have seed or take longer time than normal to have seeds. How to grow rice? There are so many ways to grow rice. But the oldest one, the oldest technique and the most popular one in the past is just to plant the seedling in a small area first. You uh, plow the land, prepare the soil very well and sow very thick seeds on that area and let them grow. While they waiting for the rice to grow, they will plow the land in the water like this just to kill the grass and fermented the grass to turn the grass into compost. After one month, the grass that cover underground will be decomposed. They will add more water and plow again to kill the water grass that start to sprout on top of the soil. At that time, the seedling will be tall enough to transplant them. So they will pull them like this, pull them and take the dirt out of the root and tie them into a bunch. So this bunch of seedling you can keep for a week. It lasts quite long. Then they will bring the bunch of seedling to the field that they prepare the soil ready already. And then they will take about three to four rice seedling and push in the soil in one spot and each spot will be about six inch far apart so they will keep going like this it will take a while to finish the whole rice field so it's hard job this is the hardest part of rice farming this is the old technique that people have been using this technique for many hundred years. About a week, the rice will turn green and new shoots stick out very fast. And then they grow fast after that. Not really long later, they will split off. The rice will split off to become a big bunch like this in the next two months. The second technique is more popular in Thailand now. They soak the rice for two nights and drain off the water and leave it for two nights and then sow them on the prepared land. They sow quite far apart. They not thick like the first technique because they will not pull them up again. After they sow them, they just let them grow. They will sow 
the rice to make the seed a little bit far apart about three four to five inches like this and then the rice will sprout very fast after that it will come up like this this very easy technique and people do it more and more now the first technique is harder but after you grow them there's no grass or weed but this technique the grass will grow fast many times the grass grow faster than rice most of people spray with weed killer because it's easy for them in many area they start to use drone to spray weed killer in in the rice field now because it's easier and faster but for for people who don't like to use chemical or organic people they will use weed whacker or weed cutter they will cut the rice and grass in the same time but they will start to cut it when they observe that the grass have joint like this this is joint and the stem of the grass round but the rice the stem of the rice still flat if it round if the stem of the rice round that means they will not extend the shoot more but if it's flat that means they can grow back fast so they can cut it now they cut both rice and grass down like a cut the grass in the lawn don't worry about the rice at all they cut it higher above the ground about four inches that's all not very high both grass and rice will be cut at this level they don't move anything away they just leave it like that in a week later you cannot see anything like this within one day the rice shoot stick out like this about and almost an inch already in the next day the leaf shoot out more than three inches that fast one week later everything turned to normal only rice grow up but the grass cannot grow yet they grow slower and the rice will block the sunlight for the grass it make the grass grow even slower the grass did not die but they cannot compete with the rice anymore if we grow without using any chemical there will be a lot of earthworm this earthworm they will help to digest the organic material into the food for our ri rice and the water will be brown color like this but if you use chemical the water will be very clear you can also see a lot of animal in your water so tiny animal there this is a tadpole of a tiny frog and you can see the baby of dragonflies hiding in there and many kind of tadpoles they love to grow in the rice field in this season and then there will be frogs in the future after two months or two months and a half most of rice will start to pregnant you can see the stem is very round but at the end of the stem will be fat it's like the snake that have just finished their food they fat and big in the end of it this is the pregnant rice they're ready to have seed it doesn't take many days the seed will come out like this it doesn't take long time the rice will ready to harvest it will change into golden color like this that means it's ready to harvest most of the rice will take about three and a half months to be ready to harvest most of them is around that in the past people used sickle to cut the rice like this now there are not many people who use this technique anymore but they still have some in 
remote area. This is the happiest time of farmer's life because everybody will enjoy and exciting to come to the rice field because it's not too hot and have a good breeze. It's not too wet and you smell new rice is so good and the fish in the pond will be very delicious. Anything at this season is the best taste. After the rice was cut, it will be dry in the sun for one or two days. And after that, they will tie up with the bamboo strip like this. They will tie into a bunch that not too big. It will be easy to hit on the ground to separate the grain out of the straw. Then they will bring all of the rice to make a pile like this to store them. After they finish cutting the rice in the whole field, they will come back to the pile of rice and separate the rice from the straw by hitting the bunch of rice on the ground or on the wood. So the seed will fell off and then they can blow the dust or the unfertile seed out of the good one. The technique that they invent here, they use weed whacker or weed cutter, but replace the blade with the fan instead. And then they used to blow all the light part of it out. So they will have only good seed of rice there. Growing rice it's very hard and very long process for farmer. That's what's in the past. Now, most of people use machine to do harvesting. So, not many people harvest by hand anymore. The machine make it a lot easier for them. In the past, farmer work very hard. They have to be with hot sun, back pain, and they do a lot of physical work, but they have more loving, have more fun when they work. Now, farming is a lot easier because they have many machines. They have chemical fertilizer, they have pest control, pesticide, but they have to suffer with that. It's mental suffer. So, Farmer is like they were cursed. They cannot be happy all their life. 